Hi there, it's me Armin and it's Pride Month and I had no idea how to make a video celebrating Pride Month. Um, you can't really do gay yoga or gay gymnastics or, you know, homosexual anything with dancing, I think. And I don't feel like I can choreograph a gay dance. Uh -huh. I keep on saying gay. A homosexual dance, seeing as I am heterosexual. So, this is definitely not what my channel is normally like, but I thought the only way to celebrate Pride Month isn't revealing weird Pride uh, coming out stories like Just Sharon does, who I watch. I saw Rachel Ballinger a few years ago. She did this video where she tested how gay she was. And now she's a lesbian. <laughs> and she tried it again this year and I thought, you know what, that would be quite fun to do. So I'm testing how gay I am. I know I'm heterosexual, but maybe I'll learn something new. But the funny thing is, I'm doing ballet speed. <laughs> and we all know those quizzes aren't necessarily correct. I have three quizzes, so we'll see how this goes. The first one is, how much gay energy do you radiate? Use this checklist to find out. Okay, check off all that apply with a rainbow on it. Don't want to sign up for anything. Consistent style, I never heard of it. Uh, no, you're still the most stylish friend of, no. Half of your texts are casual, yes. I know one girl in red song. You know the lyrics to at least five other songs? I think you live and breathe for musicals, yes. You have super speed. No. You know every word to chromatica by Lady Gaga. Yes. Coffee is always iced, even in December. No. You don't know what Hype House is. I unfortunately do. And if you do, you hate it anyways. You have eight, two, three, seven, eight, seven, one fun cases. No, I have one. Because that's just life. You adore Lana Del Rey. I've heard one song, I think, from her, so no. Sass. I don't know if I can answer this question. I can be sassy sometimes, but not always. I'm gonna ignore that. Either all lowercase or all caps. No. No. Definitely not. You hadn't realized this whole quiz was all lowercase. I hadn't. You use sarcasm so much, people are often confused whether you're joking or not. Yes. Yes. Phoebe Bridgers. Ooh, I haven't watched Friends yet. Shoot me. I want to. I, I have time now. I might. After I watch Dance Moms. <laughs> Quick tangent. Dance Moms? I didn't want to watch it because of all the drama and I still... <laughs> I find they edit it in a way that the scenes repeat each other a lot. But like the drama scenes that repeat, I skip. I just kind of want to see the dancers and be envious of a six-year-old who's more flexible than me. And I'm talking about Mackenzie, I think she's six, I don't know. But how is she better than me? Anyway. <laughs> Luckily I'm still a child. You actually care a lot about your loved ones. Duh. Obviously. You have a weird obsession with the rainbow flag. I feel like that's a dead giveaway, but no I don't. You've never read a heterofictional. Um, I have. I have not read a lot of gay ones though. I have no idea what AO3. You prefer AO3 over Wattpad. What I know what Wattpad is, I don't know AO3. You're on Stan Twitter. No, I'm not on Twitter. You can't drive for shit. I can't drive, so yes. I'm artsy, I guess. The indie kid, no. The goth kid, no. Actually, you're all of them just different, change around different people. No. I'm a bookworm, or I try to be. If English is not your first language, you know it better than your first language, unfortunately. No, not really. I'd say my Afrikaans and English is the same. And if you don't use it right, you don't really care anyways. Yeah, that's me. You definitely overuse the smiley emoji, sad emoji and heart emoji, but like the old style one. No. I own way too many candles. I own one, so I'll say no. Okay, show me my results. 
low gay energy. Although you do radiate some, your gay energy level isn't very high. There's room for growth, but I don't need gay energy. So, okay, one out of three quizzes says I'm straight. Heterosexual. Sorry, I'm trying to train myself to not say straight because I feel like that's mean saying I'm straight and you're gay. I prefer heterosexual. Anyway, next one. We know if you're gay or not based on how many of these classic movies you grew up watching. We'll see about this. Check off how many movies you watched growing up. Okay, All About Eve. No. Mahogany. No. Valley of the Dolls. No. Mommy Dearest. No. Too Wong Fu. Thanks for everything. No. Nine to Five. No. The Wizard of Oz I've watched. How is that gay? Hydrosexual. Homosexual. Anyway. Mildred Pierce. No. Sister Act. No. Sister Act 2. No. Clueless. Yes. Cabaret, I still want to watch. Dirty Dancing, I've watched. The Brady Bunch, no. The Adventures of Priscilla, Queen of the Desert, unfortunately not. Beauty and the Beast, I have. Aladdin, I have. Obviously, it's Disney. A League of Their Own, no. The Wiz. No, I haven't watched The Wiz. Showgirls, no. I still need to. Gentleman for a Blonde, no. Still need to. I know, like, I read the um, no, 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 no. musical. I, I read the libretto, which is basically the script for the musical, but I haven't actually watched the movie or the musical Broadway version, so I need to do that. Hocus Pocus, I have, and I found it really strange. Um, depends on which hairspray they're talking about, but I did watch a hairspray, so that counts. The Roman Spring of Mrs. Stone. No, this is all very old movies. Steel Magnolias, no. Moonstruck. I've been wanting to watch Moonstruck for so long and I still haven't gotten around to watching Moonstruck tonight. I keep on forgetting about it because Sher is an idol. Seriously, I grew up with Sher. Uh, a streetcar named Desiree, no. Cat in a Hot Tin Roof, no. Working Girl, no. Breakfast at Tiffany's, I also still want to watch. Funny Girl. <laughs> <laughs> no, I still need to. <laughs> the principal of my school will be very disappointed in me. Because her debut was Funny Girl. She was Barbara, I think. No, yes, maybe. Little Mermaid. Yes, definitely. Mrs. Doubtfire. No, I know I'll never. It looks weird and strange. Uh, Sunset Boulevard, no. Now and then, no. Myra Breckenridge, no. Spartacus, no. Death Becomes Her, no. Pretty Woman, I think I might. I think so. Rebel Without a Cause, no. The Witches of Eastwick, I've watched. I've watched Witches of Eastwick. I watched it. Whatever happened to Baby Jane, no. The Great Muppet. Keeper, no. Auntie May, no. Suddenly Last Summer, no. Funny Face, no. Pink Flamingos, no. Pillow Talk, no. <sighs> A Star Born 1954. I watched the latest one. It doesn't count. Gypsy, no. I still need to watch it. Big Business, no. Gremlins 2, The New Batch, no. Barbarella, no. Flash Gordon, no. Clue, no. The Rocky Horror Picture Show, yes. And I was very confused when I watched it. <laughs> I think like for half an hour after the movie, I was like, but what was the storyline? Then my dad goes, there wasn't one. And I'm like, but what was the storyline? And I get, why are we watching a movie and I didn't find the storyline? What is happening? I'm confused. Then I had a meltdown about it, but it was a good movie besides that. Rosemary Baby, no. Carrie, no. Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? No. Imitation of Life? No. Thelma and Louise? No. Boomerang? No. <sighs> this is a lot. Soap Dish? No. Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead? Okay, I won't. No. Poison Ivy? No. Waiting to Exhale? No. Oh, Heathers! Heathers! My babes! Yes, I have watched Heathers once or twice or three times or four times, maybe. It's a good movie, okay? It's a cult classic. I've watched Grease. And I didn't know there was a Grease 2 and I refused to watch it because second movies normally ruin the first one.
Okay. This one says I am gay. <laughs> they say I'm 100% gay. Facts of facts. So right now it's split and the last one will tell me. Dang. Is it because I checked so little off? And the ones I checked were very out there for those days. We know. Next one. We know the exact percentage of gay you are based on how many of these movies you've seen. Okay. Oh, more movies. Okay. Let's see how long this is. Oh my word. It's quite long. Anyway, let's go. First movie, The First Wives Clubs. No. Spice World. No. That looks very, very 2000s. Crossroads. No. Coyote Ugly. No. Sister Act 1 and 2. No. Disney Channel original movie Jumping Ships? No. The movie where Freddie Prince Jr. showed us in a lawnmower? That's not very specific, is it? The Craft? No. The Lizzie McGuire movie? No. Legally Blonde? Of course, she's my babe. Elle Woods is an inspiration. And the musical is amazing. And she is just great. Great actress. Amazing. Um. Duck in a station. Okay, someone else. Okay, bring it on. Obviously. Romeo and Michelle's high school reunion, you know, clueless. Oh, as if. Yes, I have. Divine secrets of the Yaya sisterhood. No. But I see Sandra Bullock's in it. A League of Their Own. No. Same one as last. Lily Dancing. Yes. Nobody puts baby in the corner. Beauty and the Beast, I have. Selena, no. Showgirls, no. Um, the Devil Wears Prada, I have. I loved it. Aladdin, yes. Loki, you're running away because I'm screaming too much. Grease, I have, yes. Burlesque, <coughs> of course. <laughs> Hocus Pocus, yes. Nine, I don't remember Hocus Pocus that much, but yes, I did watch it. 95, no. Miss Congeniality. I did, but because my friend forced you, you can see none of my other vlogs. She didn't force me, but we decided to watch it together. Otherwise, I would have said no. Mean Girls, I have. I'm not as obsessed as everyone else is with it. It's, I find Heather's is better. Cruel Intentions, no. Jawbreaker, no. Hairspray, of course. Chicago, I grew up on Chicago. So back then we had, when I grew up, I had a lot of DVDs and CDs and I was obsessed with TV. So I used to watch a crap ton of my CDs and DVDs. Like if I was sick, every time I was sick. So, my grandfather and my family live somewhere far away from us. I nearly said where, in South Africa. And then they sent me CDs because he, my grandfather would take videos. And then he put on the CD and then he posted down to my family where we live far away from them. And then I would take those CDs and on the CDs are videos of all the family gatherings and things they did as a family. So I felt like I could be part of it too. And every single time I'm sick, I watch those CDs and DVDs. That's besides the point. The point was I had two movies that I grew up on as a child. That is Chicago and Moulin Rouge. And those were like the two most adult. Oh, and Taxi. Taxi as well. Those are like my three non animated films that I grew up watching. I also grew up watching Heidi. I had like a whole collection. A lot of Barbie. A lot of Barbie. Felix. There's a bunch. I don't know where it went, but there's a bunch in there. Oh, uh, The Little Mermaid 1 and 2. Beauty and the Beast. I, I even had the DVD game for Little Mermaid 2. I loved it. It was. Anyway, talk of the day before Moulin Rouge. Yes, oh, I love that movie. Center stage. I also grew up watching that. Um, I forget the storyline because I haven't watched it in a while, but I know I watched it, and all I remember is red shoes. <laughs> Little Mermaid. Yes. Dick. No. The Parent Trap. No. Scream at me, it's fine. Stuff I know. Princess Diaries, yes. 
10 things I hate about you. No, Freaky Friday. No, she's a man. No, pretty woman. What did I say for the last one? I'm gonna say yes to this one because I feel like I've watched it. Now and then, no. Life Size, no. Batman Returns, no. Never Been Kissed, no. Anastasia, no. My Best Friend's Wedding, no. Not another teen movie, no. Election, no. Batman and Robin, no. Candid, ca ca Cadet Kelly, no. Grease 2, no. Congeniality 2, no. I still need to watch that one. Okay, let's show me my results. I'm gay, apparently, because this one also says I'm gay. So there you have it. Even though I don't think I am, I'm gay. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Okay, but seriously, for now, I don't care what I am. I have a whole life ahead of me. If I am, then I am. If I'm not, then I'm not. But for now, I'm not dating anyone, anything, any vibe. Because I don't think I can handle taking, like, giving my affection to somebody else right now. And then if I only receive affection from them it's going to be one-sided and it's not going to be a good relationship so it's stupid anyway because right now i'm way too busy to have to worry about somebody else and i know that sounds weird but it's strange i want to have a partner well a boyfriend i want to have a boyfriend but at the same time i don't so i want the cuddles and the affection of a boyfriend but my brain is realistically like no you don't want a boyfriend because you can't have one right now so check back with me in four years and then we'll see. <laughs> but anyway, apparently I'm gay just because I'm cultured and my parents are open-minded. Who would have thought? Anyway, it's me, Arwen, and my gay quiz and Loki. Oh, can we just say Loki is a part of the gay community? Um, <clears throat> he has met several male dogs and tried to hump them. So please, don't be cruel to him. Leave nice comments. I mean, it's really scary for him. And as his mother, I support him fully. <laughs> anyway, it's me, Arwen, my gay quiz, my gay dog. And we hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, if you did, subscribe, because I'm apparently 100% gay. And I have to ask, turn on the notifications, even though they don't work. Love you so much, stay safe.